Let us try an activity. Make your friend sit on a high chair or bench with his or her legs suspended. Gently tap on the soft part just below the kneecap. If you tap at the right spot, your friend's leg will immediately kick out or jerk. This reaction is called a knee jerk reflex or patella reflex. Neurologists commonly perform this test to check the state of the patient's central nervous system. In this case, the tap below the kneecap gives the stimulus. This stimulus travels as nerve impulse through a sensory nerve to the spinal cord. Inside the spinal cord, the impulse is passed to a special connecting nerve called the interneuron. The response for knee jerk is then passed by the spinal cord to the muscles of the leg via the motor nerve. As a result, the muscles of the leg contract and the leg moves forward. The pathway followed during the relay of a nerve impulse from sensory nerve to spinal cord and then back to the leg muscles via a motor neuron is called a reflex arc. The components of a reflex arc are receptors that perceive the stimulus, sensory neurons that carry the signal to the spinal cord, interneurons in the spinal cord that process information, motor neurons that carry the message back to the body part, and the effector organ where the reaction takes place. Observe carefully. In this entire pathway, the brain is not involved. Reflexes that are carried out with the help of the spinal cord only are called spinal reflexes. Reflexes that involve the medulla of the brain and the cranial nerves are called cerebral reflexes. Blinking Coughing and sneezing are examples of cerebral reflexes. It is important to know that all signals occurring in the course of reflex actions are finally conveyed to the brain. But the action happens long before and without the engagement of the thinking center of the brain.